Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crazy here, and in today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on, a, on another 2022 film that came out earlier this year in January, in early January 2022, and that's going to be on The 355. Yep, so The 355 is, is directed by Simon Kimber, who was also known for directing X-Men Dark Phoenix, and so, and the movie stars Jessica Justine, Penelope Cruz... Um, Edgar Ramirez, and Sebastian Stamp. And so, the story of the 355 goes like this. CIA agent Mason Mace Brown join, joins force with, forces with, with, with a rival German agent, a cutting-edge computer spe specialist, and, and a Colombian psycho psychologist. So when, when, when a top-secret weapon, weapon falls into, into the hands of a group, um, into a group of, of, of miniseries. Sorry if I pronounced that, that name wrong. Sorry if I word that. Sorry if I pronounced that word wrong. So, yeah, together the four women embark on 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 a break on a breakneck mi mission to to save the world while staying while staying one step ahead of a mysterious figure who's tracking their their move every, their every move. And so, and of course, we got ourselves like a like an action another action spy film that came out in January this year. So. I remember, I remember, I remember for first seeing a trailer for the three five five. I remember seeing a trailer for for this movie like in front of other films when I was seeing movies at AMC theaters. I, I did see a trailer for this film like 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 nearly like nearly two years ago when the, when this movie was supposed to come out last year in, in January twenty twenty one until they delayed it to um January of twenty twenty two this year. So so this movie came out on January seventh twenty twenty two. And it's out on Blu-ray already, and, and I actually watched it on Peacock uh, just, after watching *Marry Me*. I actually watched *The 355 on Peacock, and I'm gonna have to say I didn't really like this movie. This movie, this movie was boring, and it was it was mediocre, and it was boring. Because there there are many reasons on there there are many reasons why I didn't like *The 355. because it's basically like one, one of those one of those January release films where. Where where it's just another one of those one of those spy action film another one of those action spy films that 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 they may have like a similar plot, like a similar plot to another to another action spy film, and, but, but the the only the only good thing I the only good thing I have about the three five five is the acting performances because Jessica Justine because since Jessica Justine is one of my favorite actresses she she does a pretty good job and Penelope Cruz and Sebastian Stan Edgar Ramirez. And 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 the the African the African American girl from from the from Star Wars and and the Jungle Book twenty sixteen like Lupita, yeah, and, and she was also in Jordan Peele's Us as well. And and yeah, because and like and and the way Simon Kimberg shot this film and the way Simon Kimberg directed this film, he's not he's not a very good director. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's it's true. He's he's like Simon Kimberg's not that good of a director. He cannot direct films at all. It's like he's not really he's not really that good. He's not really good at directing films because because his first film he directed from 2019, X-Men Dark Phoenix. I, I never even saw X-Men Dark Phoenix since I heard it since I heard really bad things about it. But but I but I will say after watching the 355, since since, since I knew it since I knew this movie would not be good at all. I, I just think Simon Kimberg is, is, is he he can't even direct films at all because I I just think he I, I just think Simon Kimberg is a, is a better is a better producer and screenwriter because I because and I do agree with my friend Zach like like Zach the I do agree with my friend Zach that I think I think Simon Kimberg is better off producing and writing films because I think he's a better producer and screenwriter because because it's like we got we got two movies directed by Simon Kimberg that that weren't very good. Cause and, and of course and of course the story too is kind of boring and the and and when the action does come on screen because it just doesn't work right. But I will say that the three five five is is not really considered to be like one of the worst movies of twenty twenty one because I I because so far my so far my worst movie of twenty twenty two like so far my worst movie of twenty twenty two is still the Ice Age Avengers of Buckwild because I still think Ice Age Avengers of Buckwild was worse than the three five five. So, yeah, and and the music score by Tom Hol Holgenberg, like, it it, it was kind of like it's kind of like pretty mediocre at best, because it, it and it's basically like one one of those January released movies that 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 does that 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 doesn't even that doesn't even make make people interested in, in to go checking this movie out. Yeah, and, and of course, like and like I said, the story too just just makes it feel like feel very familiar. 
and but 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 only the acting performances that it, it works it works good since it, it since it's got talented actors and actresses like like I said Penelope Cruz and Jessica Justine because Jessica Justine is a talented actress I will say and, and and like I said she's one of my favorite actresses too and Penelope Cruz Penelope Cruz is a good actress too and and <clears throat> yeah because. Because I think almost everything about this film is, is 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 boring, except for the except for the performances. The performances were the only good thing about this film, and and I know this, and like and like I said, I watched it on Peacock, and and of course the Universal Studios logo, the Universal Pictures logo, had the actual 2012 and 2013 fanfare by Brian Tyler. Because because I've actually seen better better films from Universal Studios that came out last year. Because. Like I, I will say I did enjoy Ma I, I, I enjoyed Marry Me a lot more than the three five five, and for the other Universal Studios film that came out la last year in, in December twenty twenty one, I I definitely enjoyed Sing Two a lot more, and I will say that definitely Sing Two I think I think is a better Universal Studios release film that had the that had the Universal fanfare by Brian Tyler at the beginning because yeah Sing Two is a better better film than the three five five same with Marry Me, and of course. Like the three five five is also available on Blu-ray as well, but it's not really worth getting on Blu-ray. Cause I, cause I only, I only watched the three five five just one time. Yeah. So, so yeah. Overall, the three five five is not a very good movie. It was, it was, it was mediocre and it, it was boring at best. And so, I'm gonna give the three five five. Two out of five stars. Yeah, a two out of five because because like I said, the, the like I said, the actresses do do a good job here because that that's one that's one good thing about the three five five because that's why I read this film two stars out of five because 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 the because like I said, the acting performances were the only redeeming quality about the three five five, and 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 if you haven't seen the three five five, if you haven't watched it yet, I mean even even if you even if you want to give it a try, then it, then I say like go go ahead. Yeah, I, I don't mind. And it's just, and like I said, I just think Simon Kimberg, I just think Simon Kimberg is a, is a better screenwriter and producer, and I think he's better off producing and writing movies instead of directing them, since since both since both the X Men Dark Phoenix and the Three Five Five sucked. But hey, but hey, at least at least we at least we got at least we got one one better January release that came out this year called Screen Five. I love Screen Five. Because there hasn't really been that much good films that came out in January 2022, except for Scream 5, which I, which like I said, I really liked Scream 5. And of course, the Betty White Celebration documentary, which was more of a Fatim event. And and of course, and of course that, and of course earlier that month, I I went and saw Licorice Pizza. Yeah, Licorice Pizza. After I saw Scene Two in, on opening day in December. So yeah, the three five five, not a good movie. I don't really recommend it, but even if you want to watch it, then I say I say give it a try. But but I, I and I will say I think the three five five would be just a one time watch because I I don't really see myself rewatching the three five five. So yeah, not a very good movie. So there you have it, guys. That that's pretty much my that, that's pretty much that it, it, that's pretty much it for for this movie review on the three five five. And that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, goodbye everybody, and that's about it.